During this pandemic, we're trying to make sure that all of our teachers stay up to date on their teaching skills. Mrs. Kasparic. Good morning. I'm getting so bored. I really don't know what to do. So what I, I had the idea to actually sit in the conference room, use this white wall, my dry erase markers, and I'm waiting for anyone to walk by. Hi, anybody. It's Miss Silva. And Miss Silva, yeah. So you are my student for the rest of the day. I am going to start with a fun problem. It's combining light like terms. Super easy. You will remember a lot of your skills from your high school time. So what I want you to do first is I want you to write down the problem all the way up to here. That's our first step. Go for it. How do I open this? Uh, Miss Silva, we are not using calculators in the classroom. I'm so sorry, you can throw this thing away. All right, coming back to my, what's that? I would like to see your eyeball so that I know that you're paying attention. So please take those off and one more time, starting with. But why is it a long equation? Why? Because the whole reason is to make it shorter. Yeah, just to this. It's like um, funneling it down. I have things to do. You just want to get out of math. So, no. I would like for you to stick in. Right. 7x minus 3x. Yes. May I just use my phone? Can I use my phone instead? Uh, no photo math. No for the math at all. I guess I just have to wait for all the other students to show up. And here once again is an example of one of our teachers trying to stay up to date with her teaching skills. Take it away, Ms. Hart. Well, I was so excited because I was going to have some time to read quietly without kids around. So I reread the summer reading book from a few years ago and I knew Miss Bell had already read it. So I was going to come up here and have a good discussion with her, see if we could learn anything new. Okay, so Miss Bell, the first step, you know, is you have to understand the book. So what was the book about? It was very interesting because it was about life as we knew it. Yeah, it was and, interesting. And it was it was very interesting. Um, it's definitely not life as we know it. It was as we knew it. Okay. Past tense. So the book was interesting. So it's it was very interesting. What was the purpose? Was it persuading or explaining or telling a story? I think you and I both know it was both. It was all? There was, there was persuasion, there was explanation, there were highs, there were lows. Emo I laughed and I cried. I did. Everything. Everything. Okay. All right, so that's, that's why we need to write it down. So I see you have your right. book. Did you mark it in the book? I don't see a page where you wrote notes down about the setting, the I, characters. I felt really confident, and I'm going to be honest with you, it's so up here. It's in your head? It's right here. Okay. If I needed to take notes, it would have been right here. But no, it's uh, just like your diagram. I say, I read the book. I do mean I read the book. You do say mean it. Say do mean. Oh, okay. So, Notice how I got all three of those words in. So where's the part about the, su the climax and the suspense and then the plot? Well, where do you think the climax is? Because there were some parts where... It, you know, the average student might could be confused. I wasn't. It was such a roller coaster. It, so just give you roller the, coaster. Give you the multiple choice and you're ready to go. B. Right. I mean B is my go to. Right. No question you don't need about an it. A. B is I don't need an A. Okay. B's right. get degrees. Well then if you had to explain why the author created that suspense right. to communicate the theme, what would you say? Because he she she knew it was going to draw people in like it did me and she, like she wrote you know it was as we knew it okay once again that's past tense okay i'm done with this the students know better <laughs>but anyway, I wanted to show you where my classroom is, because where I've been for the last three weeks, every time I'm teaching you, this is my classroom, and I'm going to turn the phone around with me. 
You see, this is my balcony, and that's where I sit. Those are the tables. I'm surrounded by plants. Every now and then I get to see insects. There, there's carpenter bees that come by. There are wasps. There's lots of lizards and and other animals that come. Lots of birds come by. I get to see my neighbors walk by as they're going to do what they need to do. A very social distancing, but I see people. So anyway, this is my classroom. It's about to start class again. Uh, and it's the fourth week. And I'm very excited. I'm very excited that we are gonna have another week together. I mean, even if apart, I'm still thinking of you. And I'm still very happy that we get to do this together. I'll, I'll see you in the classroom. So my mini lesson to you today is about taking breaks. And this is where I like to take breaks, so that's why I did the video here. So, because we are in such a weird situation where we're all at home, you have countless amounts of hours in the day to get things done, you're in unusual situations, right? You don't have a place to study, you don't have a place to have time for yourself. So what I'm telling you now is you need to find a place and make sure you take breaks. So, make sure to take a break. Hi class. I know it's been a while since we've talked about photosynthesis, but I know we remember how it works. So let's take a look at some plants. Last semester we learned about photosynthesis and we know that photosynthesis occurs in the cells found in the leaves. Now each one of these cells that we have in the, the leaves contains organelles called the chloroplast. Now the chloroplast is responsible for performing photosynthesis. Now, it, the chloroplast will need three reactants. It's going to need the sun, which we see shining on the leaves. It's going to need carbon dioxide. Now the carbon dioxide enters the leaves through the underside. Now we can't see them, we would need a microscope, but there's tiny little holes underneath the leaf called st stomata. Now the stomata are, will open up to let the carbon dioxide in. So we said sunshine, carbon dioxide, and another important reactant is water. Now I do not recommend that you water plants this late during the day. You wanna water them either early in the morning or late at night when the sun is no longer out. Now once the plant receives these three reactants, it, it performs photosynthesis and it produces two products. The most important product that it's going to produce is glucose. Now the glucose is going to be used by the plant. It's, it's going to keep it alive, it's its food. Now, the second product, which is oxygen, it will also be used by the plant, but most of it will be used by other organisms like us. Now, not every plant needs to be watered the same. For example, like this one here, you don't wanna water it too much. This one can go weeks without being watered. If you water it too much, you can actually do it some harm. And then we have this other, this plant right here is mini roses. It doesn't have any flowers at the moment, but we're gonna water it just a little bit so it can start doing photosynthesis now I want to show you something interesting down here we find a little friend it's a little snail living underneath the leaf of our plant All right, well, here we are at school. Miss Santana and I have been practicing social distancing, and she does such a great job of keeping her spirits up. She's always in a great mood. Let's check on her. I just want to go outside. Miss Santian. Play. What? Hi. You're always in such a great mood. How do you do it? Oh, well, you know, I just think about the kids and think about what they need from me and what I can do to help them, and it just makes me want to absolutely help them as much as I can. Okay, Miss Santiam, how do you really feel? I don't want to do this anymore. I want to go home. Do you know it's National Pajamas Day? Why are we not in our pajamas? <laughs> we should have came to school with our onesies. 
So do we miss them? Yes. We can't wait for school to be back in session. We cannot wait for that. All right, you want to say bye? Bye! We miss you!